What's up guys, it's Josh back with another video and today I wanted to show you guys how to get Opera web browser installed on Linux. So as I stated in the intro of the video, I wanted to show you guys how to get Opera web browser installed on your Linux operating system. And Opera is a interesting Chrome based browser that millions of people are using worldwide. And what made me do this video, I, I was showing my son how to get something installed on his computer. And I noticed that he was using the Opera browser. Now he uses Windows. So it popped up in my head. I was like, I wonder if you can get that thing installed on Linux. And I remember using Opera on Linux a long time ago, but I haven't looked at the browser in a long time. But Based on what I saw on his computer, just playing around with it for a second, it's an awesome browser and I think people should check it out. You know what I'm saying? So I wanted to show people that are using Linux, you can get this Opera web browser installed on your Linux operating system and sync all your bookmarks and all that stuff over from your Windows operating system if you switch over to Linux. Now, like I said, it's used by millions of users. You know, it's a Chrome based um, browser or specifically Chromium based browser. I wanted to go on and let you guys know that uh, I keep saying Chrome based, but it's Chromium based uh, browser. And if you guys are not familiar with Opera, uh, it has all the same features that you would see on any other browser out there, like syncing your bookmarks across um, using an account. It also has ad blocking, you know, VPNs, um, and you can also set up a crypto wallet, which is super cool. And one cool thing about Opera, it has the um, virtual workspaces or workspaces feature, which is super cool. Uh, I played around with it a little bit, but it allows you to organize it similar to, you know, apps on your website. You can organize your, your, uh, websites that you have open It's super cool. And I really wanted to show you guys that. So I'll show you guys a little more once we actually get an install on our virtual machine. But let's go on and hop over to my virtual machine, show you guys how to get this thing installed, and then we can play around with it once we get on the virtual machine. So be back in a second. Also, before we move forward, I wanted to give a quick shout out to CIQ as the official supporter of Rocky Linux, which I think is one of the best replacements for your CentOS server. If you haven't been paying attention, Red Hat announced in 2021, it will be going away with CentOS as the downstream clone for Red Hat and Rocky Linux is here to pick up the pieces. So check out Rocky Linux at CIQ.co. Okay, so I'm in my virtual machine and as you can see, um, this is Ubuntu 22.04, well you may not be able to tell, but this is Ubuntu 22.04 and just so you guys know, uh, you cannot install Opera uh, from the software center. It's not in the main repository. So I just wanted to show you guys, I'm gonna search for it, but it's not there. So the way we're gonna have to install it is to go to the browser and download the dev package. So let's close that, open up Firefox because that's the default browser that comes with Ubuntu 22.04 it comes with firefox i'm not sure what version number it is but that's what it comes with so uh let's just search for opera and we can go to the opera browser uh, download page and as you can see it'll pop up uh i'm not sure why what i clicked on yeah i clicked up there sorry but as you can see your personal browser so download opera all you have to do is click download opera or download now up here uh, it'll download the dev package for you. It'll store it uh, in your downloads directory. Uh, but let me go back to the browser right fast. I just wanted to read a little bit about it right fast. But as you can see, uh, it, it works across pretty much all platforms. Uh, it's on Windows, you know, Mac OS, as well as Linux. Uh, but the Opera browser browse faster, safer, and smarter. Pretty much the same slogan as as all the browsers out there, especially Chromium based. Uh, they all say that the fastest, you know. Um, 
I don't know, man. I don't know which one is the fastest, but it's all about personal preference when it comes to browsers. But um, Opera Browser is built for changing the web, block unwanted ads, use free P VPNs, connect desktop and mobile browser, and explore dozens of additional uh, innovative innovations that make Opera Browser truly personal. Uh, you can have a crypto, you know, wallet, uh, Opera Mini for your phone. You know, it has pretty much everything, you know, you could think of Web 3.0, uh, all that stuff is there. Um, so let's go down and close this, the browser right fast. And let me show you guys how to install it right fast. And it's very simple to do. And I can show you two different ways on how to get it. Uh, you can go into your downloads folder. And if you right click on Opera, you get open with uh, other application and then you can go software install. Now I'm not gonna show you this way, but that's the simplest way to install it. I'm gonna show you guys how to install it from the terminal. Uh, Cause you guys know I like to show you guys the terminal uh, way of doing things. So let's make this thing a little bit bigger so you guys can see. And as you can see, it's under our downloads directory. So all we have to do is uh, CD to that directory. So let's go CD downloads and press enter. We can LS this directory. You'll see those two dev packages that are there, uh, Docker desktop, and then, uh, opera, uh, stable. And it's a very simple command to install. So you simply type sudo, uh, D package. So D P K G and then dash I for install. And then in this directory, uh, that's what the dot in the four slash is basically something within the current working directory. Um, and then all we have to do is type in that file. So opera.dev, press enter, type in our pseudo password, boom. And then it'll go through the install. And it doesn't take long. Uh, it's just same exact way as doing it the way I showed you originally, just right clicking on the dev package, open with the software center, it'll install it that way as well. Like I said, I just wanted to show you guys how to install it this way. Uh, so as you can see, Opera can configure your system to include new versions of Opera packages together with the regular system upgrades. And that's essentially what we wanna do. This is basically adding a PPA. And it's adding those repositories to our sources list. And all you have to do is uh, hit yes uh, on that. And that's essentially what that did. You know how we typically, like when I show you guys how to install something, I typically, you know, walk you guys through adding, uh, downloading the GPG key, installing it on the system, and then adding the repository. Well, this script or this dev package basically does all that for you. And then install the package for you at the end of it. And so each time we run sudo apt updates and sudo app uh, upgrades, it will install the latest version of Opera on your system. And it looks like we are complete. Uh, let's go down and close this out. Um, we can exit out the browser and we can close out this uh, file browser, go to our show applications, scroll over. And as you can see, we got Opera installed on the operating system. First thing it's gonna do is basically personal or walk through how to personalize it. Uh, let's make it big. Uh, and like I said, this is an awesome little browser. It's super cool. It kind of reminds me of Vivaldi. You know what I'm saying? I don't know if you guys ever heard of Vivaldi, how it has that uh, side on the left hand side, but Vivaldi is a good browser as well. But you can go through the personalization. So let's hit, let's go. Uh, I like dark, dark themes. So let's go down and select that. Or you could do a system. And so it'll adjust based on your system. But I always like to select a, you know, a dark theme. Uh, remove ads, so it has that on there. Uh, it'll block your ads for you. Super cool, block trackers as well if you want to. Uh, you know, that'll fully protect your privacy. You know, uh, here we go. So chat within, without leaving your browser, so you can connect all your different uh, chats. Uh, if you want to, that's Facebook right there. It looked like Facebook Messenger. And then make Opera Browser your yours. And let's start by importing your bookmarks, which we don't have any bookmarks on here. This is a clean install of Ubuntu. I believe I have some small applications on here, but 
uh, never personalize this thing at all. Never use it for anything other than to show off applications. So there's nothing on here. Let's hit next. And then you can start browsing at this point. So we're good to go. Uh, and they have a nice little home page similar to all the, you know, Chrome based browsers, you know, nice little home page. Uh, and it looks like this thing thinks you're on Windows 11 because of that background right there. That's like a Windows 11 type theme, uh, which, you know, I thought was interesting when I saw it. You could set your city, uh, put your, you know, your uh, location, all that good stuff. Now, Right here, first thing that'll pops up, just like in any application, they want you to send uh, feature usage information so they can make changes to it. You could do yes if you want to, no if you don't, um, and it should be anonymous. Uh, I always hit no thanks, but you can do what you want, you know, at the end of the day. And like I said, you have an account, so you can create an account. You can sync all your stuff across all your different devices. So uh, if you have Opera on your phone, you know what I'm saying, you can, Pull up your bookmarks and all that stuff on your phone by logging into your account now if we click over here this is basic settings you got your appearance over here uh force dark theme on pages that's dope you know you can because you know a lot of pages you go to they'll have something set but you can force a dark theme on them uh the ones that it'll work on uh you can set up your background so uh that's super cool use bigger tiles news show the weather if you show the news if you want to uh there's the privacy settings again now you can go to your full browser settings uh and like i said it's chromium based so it's gonna look exactly the same as chromium a little bit different you know what i'm saying but similar to chromium if you've used chromium then you get the hang of this it's a you know pretty decent um um browser now one cool thing, this is a snapshot tool that's built into the browser. That's super cool. Uh, that's your bookmark. That's the way you bookmark stuff. Now, if we go over here, this will take you to your store page. So you can click there. That'll take you back to your store page. Uh, so that's super cool. Uh, and let's go down and close out our settings. But that's pretty much it, man. If you're interested in getting this thing installed or if you've used it on Windows, you know it's a way to install it on linux so this may be one of those applications you were looking for that you needed uh and not knowing that you can get it installed on linux well it can be installed on linux so hope you guys enjoyed the video please like share and subscribe to the channel if you have any questions leave comments down in the comments below uh and of course keep it techie